Coco, it's time to wake up. Mr. Coco. <coughs> Sorry you had to die, Mr. Coco. You were the bestest friend I ever had. Except for my daddy. Just get a new one. They don't cost much. We could get a job or something. My mom has a job. When she comes home every morning, she has a big stack of dollar bills. I'd ask for some, except she's even to buy bigger bills. But you don't understand. I've had Mr. Coco half my life. My daddy gave him to me when I started preschool. What am I gonna do? Hmm. Did you try throwing water on him? What do you mean? People always put water in dirt to make a plant come to life. And they keep putting water on it so it stays alive. Mr. Corningstone. Amber! Well, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in school? It's Saturday. Well, didn't I give you homework to do? Uh-huh. But this is way more important. I'm trying to bring my pet hamster, Mr. Coco, back to life. Are you doing the same thing? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, this is my, uh, my pet dog, Alice. Must have been a big dog. Almost the size of you. How'd she die? Oh, uh, terrible disease called, uh, infidelity. It's too bad. I'm not sure how Mr. Coco died. I just found him laying on his back with his legs up in the air. Yeah. Pretty much how I found Alice. Look, Amber, let's not tell anyone about this, okay? I don't want people to know I lost my dog. They might feel sorry for me, you know? I understand. Amber... Why not just get a new hamster? They're not expensive. Because it's not as easy to replace someone you love. Well, uh, good luck. Mr. Corningstone's going to thank me for this. Maybe he won't give me any more homework. Mr. Corningstone? Yeah? Yes. Found your wife's car abandoned on the overpass. Oh, my God. Why'd you want to visit your father today? Hmm? His birthday's not for three weeks. I just miss him. forgot. We found your wife, Alice. You better talk to her. Bye. 
I'm, I'm glad you're okay. It's not easy to re replace the one you love. Thank you. Yeah, right, Cornick Stone. <laughs> you're under arrest for attempted murder. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs>